It was a crazy weekend to say the least over at First Interstate Arena for the 2020 Montana State Wrestling Tournament. From broken team records to the 36th four-time state champion in MHSA history, the atmosphere was set for an exciting championship Saturday. Starting off with Leif Schroeder of Bozeman, the 136-pound wrestler got his name jotted down in the Montana High School State record books after earning his fourth individual state championship, scoring a whopping 25 points on the mat against Brendan Barnes of Flathead. He's the 36th wrestler ever to earn the achievement. I don't know, that's really hit. I want to just thank everybody who's been in my corner and it's been uh, overcome some adversity this year and I'm just, uh, I don't know what to feel. Uh, a range of emotions right now, just uh, I'm glad I competed like that in my last match in a Bozeman Hawks singlet in. But he wasn't the only athlete today trying to go for four in a row. Jake Bibbler of Frenchtown had his eyes set on a four-peat with a big challenge in front of him and two-time state champ Cooper Birdwell of Fergus. Instead, it's Birdwell getting his third state championship and staying undefeated in his career. In the B's and C's class, Gunnar Smith out of Eureka got himself some more hardware to add to the trophy case, winning his third state championship in a row in the 126s. Not only were there some repeat state champions, but some major upsets. Landon Stewart of Frenchtown putting his 49-0 record on the line against Owen Lonsky of Sydney, who has 48 career wins of his own. Stewart takes his first loss ever as Lonsky is your Class A 103's champion. A lot of individual records were set, but also team records. Sydney boasted an impressive eight wrestlers in the championship matches, with seven of those athletes taking home the crown and as a team, breaking their own record that was set last year. Exploding for 340 total points, surpassing last year's mark of 311, earning their third consecutive Class A team title. In terms of local wrestlers, the city of Billings and the surrounding areas were represented well. Starting with Thomas Kleps of Billings Sr., the first state champ from the city on the day. Kleps finished sixth last year, but earned himself a first place medal this year in the 160s. In the off season, I worked really hard, and uh, I had Trent Sprinkle, um, Torin, and my dad helping me, Coach Beeman. I just had so many people in my corner, and they saw that I was willing to work hard, so they just helped me even more. And in the B's and C's, it was Ryland Burns earning a state title to bring back to Cold Strip in the 160s class, followed by Journey Grimsrud out of Huntley Project. He would earn a heavyweight state championship in the 205s. Moving on to the featherweights representing the Magic City. The freshman Jesse Arnez of Billings West earning their only individual state championship of the day in the 120s. And then it's Hunter Ketchum, the Skyview Falcon winning his championship duel, also giving Skyview their only individual hardware for the weekend. I put a, hard, a lot of hard work in. My coach helped me through the way. Coach Salzer, just learning new things, but getting better on my feet and bottom and stuff. And in the last match of the day, it was the Billings senior Bronc, Matthew DeWitt, getting revenge for his senior night loss to Drake Rhodes of West. It took overtime in this one, as he's your back-to-back -back 126's individual champion. Had a lot of kids pushing me, teammates pushing me, parents, coaches. Even when I was feeling down, kept me pushing through it. God, keep getting better. And that's a wrap on high school wrestling for this season. A big congratulations to all the teams that participated this weekend and all of the state champions, this time walking out of Interstate Arena. In Billings, Braden Kane, SWX Montana.